Welcome to this series of videos all about tools. I'm going to take you through a whole bunch of different tools that you as an electrician are going to use and are going to need in your trade. Welcome back to another video about tools. In front of me today, I have some chisels and I have some files. And we're gonna go through the differences between them and where we might use some of these tools. So first of all, we'll start with the chisel. You would be aware of chisels. You would have seen these in timber work back in school and you will find that they are designed for cutting and doing precision work on timber. So it's very important that the tip of our chisels are always very, very sharp um, and looked after and in good condition. So if you have a little part that goes over the top to protect that edge, you should always use it. They have two sides, a flat side and obviously a chamfered side for the different cuts that you are using them for. And a good chisel, you shouldn't need to hit it with a hammer if you're using timber. A good sharp chisel, you should be able to use it just with your hands. Um, obviously there are gonna be times you're gonna need to hit it with a hammer, but keep that in mind. A good chisel should be that sharp. Now next we have this. This is a cold chisel. Now it actually has a hand protector on it. A lot of times you'll see it without this hand protector. Um, I don't know why they call it a cold chisel. Maybe something to look up. But this is used on steel, concrete, bricks, any hard material. You wouldn't use this on timber. This is what you'd use on timber. This is we use this electricians fairly often because a lot of times we have to maybe run some conduit or cabling through brick or concrete. And this is what we would use to make those holes after we maybe we've drilled it out a little bit, we'd use this. Now, as I mentioned, this has a hand protector on it uh, because generally if we're using this on some hard material, we're gonna have to hit it pretty hard with the hammer and we don't really want to hit our hands or knuckles because that hurts. They come in various different sizes. This is a standard size cold chisel that most people use. Um, you also have the larger of chisels if you're gonna take out more material. And again, this one has a hand grip as well to protect you. Now let's have a look at the files. Files are used for removing material, whether it be timber, brass, copper, metal, you can get a file for pretty much any job you need to use it for. This particular one I'm holding here is a bastard file because it has less teeth per inch. Um, it's very, very rough and very coarse. So it's designed to take off a lot of material very, very quickly. Uh, we wouldn't really use this that often, to be honest, because we're not really filing timber. We're not trying to make you know, a nice piece of furniture where we've got to take off a bit of material and shape things. We would more likely use the other side, which is much, much finer. So it has more teeth per inch. Um, and we have some different shapes here. So we have our standard flat file and these come in various different sizes so you can get them bigger and smaller. These basically have a flat edge all the way around. The cutting edge is also along this part here. You can get files that do not have a cutting edge on the smaller edge. And they are specifically designed to get in and file without doing any damage around them. Uh, these ones, each edge is a cutting edge because for us as electricians, a lot of times we actually want to get into small spaces and we want to use those different edges. We also have what we call a half round file or semi round file. And that has a flat edge and as the name suggests, half a circle. Not quite half a circle, but it has a radius on it. And this is for us to file round holes because a lot of times we will be drilling into steel and we are obviously drilling and cutting round holes for our cables to run through. So this fits the profile and we can file around that quite neatly. We also have a square file, which again, as the name suggests, this is in the shape of a square. 
not something I've really used that often, to be honest with you. Um, I can see where there would be times for using it, but it's nice to have. Again, I, I haven't really used this very often as an electrician, but there you go, square file. And then we have the round file. Sometimes this gets called a rat's tail file as well. This is probably the file you will use the most. Again, we use this once we've drilled through some metal and we want to take the burrs off the metal so we don't catch our cabling, um, you will use this a lot. Uh, you can also use this on the larger round holes as well if you don't have one of these, the semi round file. So, so that's it for our files and chisels. Hopefully you've got something out of that. And these tools are the tools that you might not start with in your original toolkit, but you will eventually pick them up as you go, especially in your first year of your apprenticeship. See you next time.